Sup my friends and welcome back to the Dragon's Lair. This is the Dallas Dragon, but you can call me Toasty. And I've decided that I want to do some personality tests. And I actually had a video where I did a personality test, but I fucked up the footage. Go figure. <laughs> that test was lame. So I'm not going to do that. I want to start off with doing some fun ones, and that is, we're going to find out if I would be a Jedi or a Sith to celebrate The Last Jedi coming out recently, and what kind of bender I would be in Avatar, because I had this whole spiel about it. I want to leave links, and you guys, you tell me what you got in the comments. And after that, uh, yeah. Let me know if there's any personality tests you would like to see me do. I'm just doing these tests so you guys get a chance to know me better, and vice versa, because if you share your com you know, what you got in the comments, I get to know you better. And that's what I'm all about. Let's choose a galaxy far, far away. You got it. Mmm, ooh. This is just a visual test to determine if I'm a Jedi or a Sith. Which I suppose I don't really understand how this relates, because, yeah. Well, a picture says a thousand words, right? That first one's really cool. I think my favorite, though, is this, the Milky Way, that swirl. Oh my god, that's beautiful. What image makes you feel connected to the Force? Mmm. So, I don't know about you guys, but I really like this one, and I really like this one. Both of these, but I feel this one is a little bit more. Which image draws out your dark side? Um, none of them? <laughs> you just have an image of the same thing. I guess this person really doesn't like clutter, because clutter, 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 clutter. It's just a bunch of telephone lines. I, I don't get it. None of them do. I'm going to choose this one. Whatever. Choose a neon sign. You got it. Ooh, I like these lips because it's voluptuous. <laughs> what pattern best represents you? I don't know? Yeah, they're just the squiggly. I like this one though, so squiggly. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I am a Sith, apparently, and this is literally the first time I have ever gotten a Sith as the end result, so I guess I've just fallen to the dark side, everybody. There's no use denying it. You draw your power from the dark side of the Force. Disasters seem to follow you wherever you go, and you're not satisfied unless you're busy with some nefarious plan. Yes. I am so nefarious. Life is tough, but you may as well have some fun along the way. <laughs> Whatever, it was a bunch of pictures, like they know me. Which one of the four elements am I? What do I believe is my destiny? To find my true purpose in life. Well then. <laughs> That seems like a cop-out answer. What's my destiny? To find my destiny. I'm mostly this, to spread peace and help those in need. I'm all about being there for everyone. That's why I'm on YouTube to begin with, because I want to spread uh, the love. That's a weird way of putting it. Which place draws you the most? Ooh, I get to choose. Ooh, I like all of them. They all the pretties. But I really like this one with the trees and the cherry blossoms. This is a close second, this like Grand Canyon thing. And this is pretty pretty too. <laughs> pretty pretty. They're all very pretty. But I definitely think this one with the flowers and... Well that, yeah, that's very... I don't know, it's just appealing. It's funny because I've always been able to deal with like very serious issues and the really big problems really well. But it was just like the little mundane things stacked up. Just because I was going through my own things and I didn't really want to deal with anything else. But I tend to be very calm and I channel my stress into positive energy. 
I won't turn my back on people who need me. Exactly. How far would you go to help a stranger? I have gone pretty far to help people that I haven't known. I mean, I do have trust issues, by the way, but that doesn't really stop me from helping people. In a way, it makes it more important to me because I know how much it sucks to feel like you have nobody there for you. Yeah, I would help wholeheartedly because I believe it's my calling to help others. I'm not looking for anyone's approval. I know who I am. Oh, tough. I love you. <laughs> What's the most important thing to you? Mm, friendship. Out of the ones listed here, definitely. Being there for other people and the love and everything, that's the most important. Revenge is... Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't really believe in revenge. It doesn't help in the long run to give in to that. I mostly feel it's useless, but only to me. It can be important, like a lesson for your own heart. Ultimately, I don't feel it's going to go the most positive direction to get revenge. But sometimes it's important to go through that lesson and to learn that. So I am going to choose this. How would you describe yourself in one word? Changing. Yeah, that's pretty much the most consistent thing about me. <laughs> okay, which non-bender do you respect the most? Okay. Yeah, I sort of remember all their names. May. It's the one that could uh, use pressure points to get people to stop bending. And then there's Suki. Oh yeah, it's her. She's the one of the warriors from the Earth Nation. I forget their name right now. She's a badass. Tai Lee. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. May is the wrong one. Sorry. Ty Lee has got to be the one that does the... I'm sorry, all you Avatar fans. I haven't seen it in a while. I'm kind of forgetting things. May is Zuko's girlfriend, and she's just kind of indifferent about everything. Ty Lee is the one that could do the pressure points to get people to stop bending. And there's Sokka, of course. Everybody knows him. He's awesome. And Jet. Jet is interesting. Uh, he's the whole revenge thing <laughs> that everybody was talking about earlier. Okay, so Jet lost his parents to a Fire Nation attack, and so he deemed that they all had to die. He even tried to flood a Fire Nation town or something along those lines. That would have killed lots of innocents. Suki's kind of awesome because she's a badass. I respect that. Also, Sokka... Even though he's got a lot of comic relief, he is also the leader most of the time. I can respect that. But he still had to learn a lot of things before he could actually get there. And some of the stuff early on, like he completely disrespected Suki in the first season when he met her. Because he's like, men are warriors and girls aren't. That's, that's dumb. I don't respect that. I, I think out of these, Suki... Yeah, she's awesome. Okay, which is this question? How would you respond to being portrayed? I might be furious, but I'd always show mercy. And I would probably forgive them. I would. Your reaction towards joining forces with the enemy would be... I try not to make enemies. That's true, I don't really have that many enemies. Or everyone deserves a second chance. But I also understand you join forces with the enemy and uh, they might try to stab you in the back. It's not something to be taken lightly, but I don't consider many people to be my enemy. Uh, I try to be very understanding of everybody. I'm an airbender! All right, I thought I was going to get the avatar, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's close enough, right? You are an airbender. You are drawn to freedom. You are fun-loving and free-spirited and always find a way to lighten the mood. You feel that helping others is a priority, yet you don't like being tied down. Sometimes your trusting and adventurous nature can make you seem naive or restless, but you use these traits to make friends easily. People trust you. Above all, you believe in second chances, change, and finding joy in life. Okay, that sounds like me. <laughs> I have not forgotten about a hat in time, by the way, people. It's just that it's kind of hard for me to record that here. But I'm hoping maybe I can do that tomorrow. I might have to wait until I get back to home. 
But I hope you enjoyed this bit of the Dragon's Treasure. Pretend a like is a like and drop it if you haven't already. I appreciate if you showed that sub button some love and stay beautiful!